Hey guys, so today we'll be unpacking this. This I ordered from Amazon. Um, so what it is, is a soldering iron. But this soldering iron kit comes with quite a lot of accessories. Um, I purchased this one for £23 um, on Amazon. eBay you will find this type of kit anywhere from around 14 to 18 pounds so yes i did pay a bit more it's just it's easier to return with amazon because i have heard some of these parts within the kits don't always work so just for safety measure and also the fact that i managed to get it in a few days so let's open it up looking at the case itself it's a nice fake leather material quite hefty there's quite a lot of things in here and it's just easier to have everything in one place um, so if you've watched my previous video on the glue gun that I purchased because it comes in no case there's no way to put my glue sticks or the glue gun it just becomes a headache so I would always recommend buying it with a case so let's just unzip it And then if we open it up, as you can see, there is a lot of things going on in here, guys. So we're going to look individually at each item and work our way through. So first of all, you get a screwdriver, a Phillips flathead. And it comes with a little clip, which is quite cool. So the next item... This, this feels quite nice, um, it's a bit stiff, it does feel nice, got a nice ru uh, hard rubber grips, and I'm sure that will cut wise or splice wise very nicely, so yeah, that's all good, then they give you a Stanley knife, yeah, I like my one, um, it's quite sharp, Box stop standard standing knife. You can pick one of these or probably three of these up for a pound. The next item. So this is a voltmeter. Um, so these are the two prongs. This is the positive and the and, uh, negative or neutral. And um, these attach to this, which we're going to get to in a bit. So we'll leave that for one side for now. Next of all. You get this, so this is part of the soldering kit. So you get different soldering tips. So, guys, I'm not going to pretend like I know much about soldering, because I don't, but I do know this one here, once it's heated up, it makes it a lot easier to cut into plastic. So if you're going to cut and trim plastic off, uh, that will help quite a lot. This is to remove excess soldering. Um, so this will help to remove any excess um, from when you are soldering the iron or the copper or the tin um, so it will help quite a lot to remove most kits come with this if you buy any kit above £10 so as this is already out this is electrical tape it's just black standard electrical have plenty of these next is the actual soldering iron so another reason I bought it from Amazon um, because I found a lot more UK sellers so it comes with a UK plug um, so the reason why I picked up this particular type of soldering iron it has an adjustable knob uh, here to put the temperature it depends on what temperature you want and it also has a light indicator which you don't get in the many of the fake Chinese ones or the cheap Chinese ones probably is Chinese guys um, but at least it comes with the temperature gauge and that light indicator to let you know that it's on and other than that, it's pretty standard with every other every other soldering iron. Not sure if you can see. Yeah, you can. And it just says soldering iron model number. And just has the brand logo on there, which is good, which means they have taken a bit more pride in their product because they didn't just get any Chinese product and just shove it in packaging of theirs they put their name on the product and as you can see with this soldering iron it's got vents 
around so that should allow smoke to come out and uh, distribute heat out a bit more evenly this is the metal tins that you would use to melt so alloy and it shows the type and the diameter and you do get a bit quite a few quite a bit inside you can always buy more it's quite cheap to pick these up what else is there I have no idea guys what this is ah oh, this is to put the soldering iron in when you're done with it so you don't have to put it on the ground and burn something just shove it in like that and it protects from potentially burning your hand or anything else so that's quite good and I'm guessing that just rests in there like so that closes it off so you can screw it and close it up quite straightforward really good like I said you do get quite a bit of things you get something in Chinese no idea what this is guys curious to see what it is if you are Yeah, looks quite cool. But oh, it's quite good. They give you a manual for the voltmeter. Never used one before, so it's good. Or multimeter, they call it. Check if it's got any power. How do you turn it on? Ah, uh, okay, no batteries. But this is a voltmeter. That's why I bought it. I thought for extra fiber, get a voltmeter. A lot of these voltmeters cost anywhere for up to 20 quid. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. And the last thing is, is right at the back, it's a metal plate. Um, again, this is to mount the soldering iron to it, like so, so then it can rest and you just shove your piece in. Because I have no permanent workstation, um, I won't be using that. Um, but yeah, that's about it. So guys, unboxing on the soldering iron, what I'll do is, because purchase like this, I'm sure people want to know if it's got good reviews. On Amazon, it has got very good reviews, so that's why I went. I've gone with this one, um, over 100 uh, four-star reviews, but I will be testing it, and I will show you if it does work, and I'll come back with an update. So guys, if you like this video, please like, subscribe, um, and support this channel. Peace out.